What is going on you two? Happy Friday, y'all. Couple things. Last night I signed up for the uh, Shreveport Casa Superheroes run. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know it at the time, but this run is for abused and disabled children. It's a great cause. Uh, it uh, starts at uh, AC Steer School. It's supposed to be super flat. Kind of a fast paced run. Uh, I, know, I know a lot of y'all are probably like 5K, 3.1 miles. I just saw you do 6.6 .6 on the treadmill. It's funny that you say that. A treadmill and running outside. <laughs> Oh, it's totally different. Not the same whatsoever. You can't, you don't account for the inclines, the decline, the, you know, uh, the road conditions, uh, the weather. It's perfect weather inside the gym on the treadmill uh, on the inside, but the outside is something different. The first time I've done this outside 5K or city 5K, outside of the military was probably in July with the wife. First one, brutal, absolutely brutal. At the end, uh, I don't know if I've ever been, but Dilla's, they were giving away, uh, they were giving us uh, free breakfast quesadillas. So that was an awesome reward to, uh, to me, to be honest. Uh, man, walking this booger. That race is going to be on the 24th of this month. It's still possible for you all to join. If you'd like, you don't have to run the 5K. You don't have to run the 10K. You could do a fun run, which you can walk your dog. You can walk your baby in a, in a stroller, or you can just walk yourself. For one person with the t-shirt and everything, it costs about 30 bucks, which isn't bad. Like I said, it's a great cause. And uh, just to get some of these city runs under my belt, it's cool too. The uh, ultimate goal is to probably run a marathon or a Spartan race, something like that. You know how those little Ironman triathlon deals go. But right now, I don't think I'm ready for it. I don't think there's too much else I want to touch on. I'm just happy it's Friday. I hope y'all are taking the time or y'all are going to take the time to relax, enjoy your families, go out, explore, enjoy life to its fullest. You know, you don't have to have all the money in the world. There's trails, hiking spots, plenty of free places to go to enjoy the atmosphere, to enjoy the weather, to enjoy each other, to enjoy people. Man, if you got a goal, you got an idea, you got a dream in your mind, you know, the one real, the two real pieces of advice that I want to give y'all is number one, if your goal doesn't seem attainable, try to quantify it and then pursue it whether it's hours whether it's dollars whether it's just time like hours on a job or time in life or you know money it takes to build or obtain whatever it is that you're pursuing second piece of advice <laughs> just don't fucking take no for an answer do whatever it takes as always to god be the glory i hope each and every one of y'all enjoys your weekend to the fullest part two of the uh, blind tiger conversation review is on the way i'm chopping it up right now and it'll be to you soon as always to god be the glory peace <laughs> one more thing this is something one I want I wanted to touch just something I wanted to touch on. I know a lot of you are asking or thinking to yourselves, man, why is this dude always in jeans and a t-shirt and boots? Well, that's simple. That's really that's really simple. Number one, I was in the military. I mean that's the most obvious answer. Uh yeah, the only time you could wear shorts is during PT. Anytime else is full battle rattle. We're talking 120 degrees in Iraq, fully clothed. We're talking about 
as soon as you wake up as soon as you go to sleep fully clothed in airborne school i mean this is this is nothing to me it doesn't matter what the degrees are i've already been through this i've already been through worse way worse thousands of miles away i know that if i get off work and i go home which is my job is basically right across the street from my house i know if i go home change sit down for a second that it lowers my chances of, of going getting back out and going to the gym so i just eliminate that i know that everybody can't do that and i'm not saying that you can you know that's just what works for me i get off work i go straight to the gym hammer out a session for about an hour go home tend to my baby tend to this dog around about 6 6 30 i'm back at it again and that's just my routine it's going to be my routine for the foreseeable future unless i add something that's of such an importance that it has to, that it has to go in there which you know i don't really see anything other than the things and people that i have in my life now that's going to get added other than that you know this is fitness or living a healthier lifestyle or a healthy lifestyle it's all about finding what works best for you one thing it's not about is finding an excuse in somebody else's life to make the excuse you have in your life seem legit that's not cool that's just cowardice no matter how you slice it everybody's life is different everybody's life is unique take the time find the minutes that you're wasting and make yours that much more better that much better people like to they love to find reasons not to don't take an ounce of energy to find a reason to do something you know? that's just how it is that's how the world is now they'd rather have the easy way or the the the, the perfect excuse they'll even like i said use somebody else's life as an excuse I mean, we all should just be rising to the occasion, no matter how our lives are, no matter how hard they are, no matter how easy somebody else's life is, because you don't know exactly what that people, that person is going through or those people are going through behind the scenes. What you see is what you see. What we know is what we know. And what we don't know and don't see is what we don't know and don't see. So, outside of that, almost back to the crib. Later.